four years dye free and here are five things that I've learned. Growing out my gray hair changed everything, but first let's get into it. Number one, I didn't know my last hair dye was gonna be my last hair dye. In the time leading up to the last time I dyed my hair, I was looking at inspiration pictures everywhere, saving them to my phone and everything. I did this for a long time, just like you would do if you were looking for inspiration for a new hair color or a new haircut. But I still kept dyeing my hair for months, maybe even years before I finally pulled the trigger. If I knew that my last hair dye was actually gonna be my last hair dye, would I have done anything different? Would I have celebrated in some way? Would I have had some ceremony, throwing away the gloves and the hair dye? Probably not. But in a way, it would have been kind of cool to do that. Number two is people really don't care that much. I worried way too much about what other people were gonna say or think. Nobody cares as much as you do, and nobody cares as much as you think they do. Sure, you'll get odd looks in the early stages, and you'll even get comments. But for the most part, nobody cared. I get more compliments on my gray hair now than I ever did when I was dyeing it. I've dated with both gray hair and I've dated with dyed hair and I haven't had a problem in that area. The third thing that I realized is that it looked pretty bad for a long time before it looked good. At least I thought it did. I used to think that if I just gave up hair dye that somehow my hair would just turn gray. But the grow out process is so slow and you have to realize you're gonna be in it for the long haul. It was worth it in the end, but it took a long time. Getting there wasn't easy. If I had known this going in ahead of time, I probably would have been able to just sort of settle into a more comfortable groove instead of trying to rush the whole thing in the beginning. And one day you look at it and you think, okay, I can do this, I can keep going. And then another day you look at it and you think, this looks pretty freaking awesome. Those days might be pretty far apart from each other, but they do happen. The fourth thing is that I didn't realize what my actual gray hair pattern was until I started growing it out a lot. I thought that if I grew my hair out maybe one or two months, then I'd get a good idea of how much gray I had. I was always told I didn't have enough gray to go gray. I thought I had more gray hair than I did. Even leading up to my decision to ditch the dye when I was gathering those inspirational pictures, I was picking pictures of women who were full on gray. But when my hair started coming in salt and pepper, I almost caved several times because I didn't have a true vision of what my hair was going to look like. I couldn't picture it. Most of the top silver hair models have solid white hair or solid gray hair, not the silver stripes that I had. I was worried that mine wouldn't look like an actual intentional hair color. And it wasn't until I started seeing other women who were fully grown out with a salt and pepper hair pattern similar to mine that I started to feel confident in my decision and was less tempted to give up. And the final thing is that it changed me in ways that have nothing to do with hair color. I developed an intense sense of security of myself and who I am, that I'm the kind of person who can stick to hard things. And this spilled over into other areas of my life. It's almost like I got this magical superpower that equipped me with a resiliency that I thought I had before, but didn't realize how much I had been lacking. As usual, thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Choose your own adventure. It's a great time to go gray.